Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to the, well, second video of my uh, Stargate, well, videos I guess, um, where I discuss the real length of the ships and models. Um, today I would like to focus on the F302, as you can see, because uh, in my previous video about 303, I mentioned that the 302 is uh, 14 meters across. Uh, it's 14 meters wide and that the uh, actual cockpit that they that they built for the show actually supports that uh, this statement was challenged and i was told that it's actually bigger that it has a wingspan of 27 meters so i uh, wanted to you know uh, check it and um, see uh, how actually it works now unfortunately i already know that there is indeed an issue and uh, though i was right i was also wrong so uh, this is the version that i showed you uh, in the previous video that is uh, 14 meter meters uh, wide now i would like to use this picture as a reference because uh, that's from the uh, episode 602 uh, Redemption Part 2 and if you remember uh, the 302 was used to actually transport the gate out of the way so this is a great reference because we know the outer diameter of the gate which is 6.7 meters so I can actually uh, make this even though I have the model of the gate that I use for my 3d printers I did not re really bother with actually importing in here importing it here but i just made a simple ring with a diameter of 6.7 meters and take a look if i uh, make this gate uh, like this yeah i can so yeah here is the gate yeah i know it doesn't look that great but it, for the purpose it's uh, more than sufficient now Take a look at this. If we compare it with the actual picture, uh, you can see that the gate is roughly in here when it comes to the, to the wing and it's almost touching it. It's the same as here. Yeah, I have those, uh, those um, rockets, uh, missiles here, but it doesn't matter. It should be a little bit up. but the diameter more more or less uh, or not diameter but the measurement looks looks okay then we have the uh, second picture yeah sorry i know that the quality is very poor but it doesn't matter for what i want to show because take a look from this side the gate is barely visible and it and it ends right here and if i take this version and make a side view it's exactly the same exactly the same so that 14 meters uh, for the model does work indeed so it appears that the uh, VFX model that they used was indeed 14 meters or some small variant of it wide but there is a big issue that issue comes when I actually put a real person there, the mannequin. Because in Creo we have mannequins, we work with them in our trains. So yeah, here, as you can see, he's in, in a sitting position, but I don't really need to put him inside the cockpit because from the first glance, you can see that he does not fit there at all. Not only that, but if you take a look at this picture, you can see O'Neill right here, Tiok right here and Sam right here and you can see how small O'Neill actually is uh, compared to the model oh. so uh, what I did is I made another version that fits the human much better so this is it and if i actually show uh, humans there 
just by the sitting position you can see that he can very easily fit inside and if we take a look at this and see the standing figure you can see that it's quite uh, in scale what we have here which unfortunately kinda means that the uh, build probe does not fit to the CGI model at all and what I can do as well is to actually show the gate it's the same gate but now as you can see it doesn't even reach to the wings it's fi it fits uh, quite comfortably beyond uh, or under the main fuselage if we, I can see that I don't have it centered but if I put it into center yeah, it does not even reach the the missiles yeah, but if we do that it doesn't really fit the previous picture at all the gate is simply too small so yeah we have this discrepancy now you are asking uh, what's the diameter of this oh, sorry diameter was the was the wingspan of this version it's actually 1.5 uh, times larger than the 14 meters uh, version so it's 21 meters in wingspan which makes it quite large and uh, kinda put another nail into coffin to the 195 meters long 303 because uh, now it doesn't even fit there um, but uh, another thing that I would like to mention, as I said, it was said to me that uh, the 302 is actually 27 meters uh, uh, wide. Uh, this is the version that is 27 meter wide. And um, yeah, the problem with it is actually... Yeah, and the problem with it is actually, as you can see, that it is now very big. It's much bigger than it should be compared to the human. So, uh, into the cockpit uh, of the 27 uh, meters wide 302, more than two people would comfortably fit. Uh, it doesn't work. 27 meter is way too big. And compared to the human, it really, really doesn't work. So, basically, it looks like that there were two versions. The real one, the prop, that was around 21 meters wide and then the CGI model which was 14 meters wide and that's that's unfortunate I'm, I'm kind of sad about that because I thought that they would have that solved but well apparently not now this is the 195 meter and if we take the 21 meters wide 302 as you can see it now barely even fits into the main body not to mention that the uh, hunger is way 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 too small not not to mention those secondary ones but I suppose that with the uh, one that is 500 meters it still works without a problem yeah this looks still quite like in the Ethon and no problem here as well as you can see it still fits there quite nicely okay so that's that's it um, I'm not really happy with what I found out, it's kinda sad, but what can you do? Okay, so 
that's all for now. And um, take care and bye bye.